Hi, this is Justin Schulte with uh, Southeastern Community College. I'm the head coach at Southeastern, and I'm here with Figured Out Baseball today to talk about our fourth throwing progression that we have with our pitchers. Um, the fourth throwing progression we have is we call our stork drill. Um, Aaron is going to start with his legs crossed here. As he lifts and gathers his weight to his back hip and gets into a little bit of hip tilt, okay, He's going to deliver the baseball to his part, his throwing partner, who's about you know 40 feet away. And the object of this drill is to feel our guys get into their back hip. Uh, if you watch our throwing progression, it kind of all progresses to this from the front side to the back side to the back hip, and now full delivery. Um, but emphasizing how we're getting into our back hip and transferring our weight from lift to gather to deliver. And this is how we finish our progression before we do a flat ground, uh, before we get on a bullpen that day, or our guys do these in pregame before they get on the mound. Um, just a way to get, like I talked about in our other three, we really want to get a feel for our delivery and our and our body as we get on the get on the mound um, and let it rip for good. But these are um, drills three and four, are more power drills. This is a full delivery, just getting there a little bit differently with the stork lift and into that leg. Once again, he's throwing to a catcher on the other end um, or one of our other pitchers from about 40 feet. And he will do these drills consecutively. Um, what we do with our drills, um, our guys will, will put one ball on one end of the group, and they'll go for a minute, 45 seconds to a minute, and then we'll switch balls to the other side, and all the guys on the other side are squatting. So it gives me an opportunity as a pitching coach to look at half our guys at once instead of trying to look, trying to watch everybody at once. Um, but. Um, yeah, he's throwing from about 40 feet, trying to throw the ball downhill, a little bit of an angle on flat ground, and uh, trying to get a good feel for, for his delivery before he goes uh, into a flat ground stretch, flat ground lined up. Our guys do these drills. We don't do them every day that we throw, depending on where they're at in their weekly um, progression from throwing live on a Saturday to um, throwing live the next Saturday. Our relievers are a little bit different than our starters, um, but we, we generally do these drills uh, three or four days a week, depending on um, long toss days compared to um, light throwing days, depending on where they're at in their weekly progression from, from their last outing. So, but generally on a, on a normal week load, they're probably doing these three, three or four times a week. Once again, this is Justin Schulte uh, with Southeastern Community College, and I'm here with Figured Out Baseball. Um, talking about our four pitching progressions and hopefully these, these are a benefit to somebody out there that um, can isolate uh, different pieces of the delivery and, and help a guy start to get a better feel for, for his body and, and what he's doing as a pitcher. Thank you.